before I say anything, I encourage you watch the entire first minute or so of this because it is very, very important. Only for the fact that the solution is probably the dumbest thing you'll ever find. Just for the reason that you can't use Dolphin 5. If you have Dolphin 5, this simply won't work. You need Dolphin 4. I personally did 4.0.2, and that worked just fine for me, as you will see in this video. If you've done everything else up to this point, just go to Dolphin 4, and that should just solve everything. But if your issue is a little bit more complex than that, watch this, because this is a full tutorial of exactly what you're what you need to do including where to download things and additionally in the description I left a text document that shows all the steps as I go with it keep in mind that the text document is a little bit vague that's step one downloading so these are the links that you're going to need just right up here you can find these either in the description or in the text so firstly VBA click this link right here Next, Dolphin. So you can probably use 4.0, 4.0.1, or 4.0.2, and there's probably even earlier versions than that since I've gotten this working back on 3.0. However, I use 4.0.2 for this video, so that's the one that we're gonna go with today. Lastly, for the exact same reason that I'm not showing the FSA ROM, uh, I'm gonna show you where you could potentially find the GBA BIOS file. I'm currently on MU Paradise. Once, just typing in a quick Google search of GBA.bin, you will find all these bins and you can click that and then from there it's a very, very straightforward download. Once you have all your files where you want them, I personally installed Dolphin to its own area since I had that extra room as well as extracted all of the GBA files into one folder. So first, we're going to open our .exe that came out of our first zip, and then we are going to go to over here, and initially we're just going to make it a bit smaller. We're going to set it to times one so that I can show all five emulators at one time without, you know, screwing anything over. Of course, you can also expand it to however you want. Next, we're going to emulator and disabling pause when not focused because this is potentially a killer of why you can't do it. If you've ran two Game Boy emulators and they both, well, one you think is connected, but one just isn't quite connecting, but the whole thing is just frozen anyways, that's because one or both of your Game Boy emulators have that checked, so make sure that that's not checked and that could just be your solution although very unlikely next we're going to set up our bios file so click this part make sure you check this box right here where it says gba advance and that bin that was probably in its own zip from me paradise like the one i showed you just put it over here yours will be differently named from mine because i have a different version However, they should work the same, and if they don't, then I will put something in the video that shows that I was wrong and update it. After that, though, just close VBA-M, and that will save all of your settings to a folder hidden in app data, roaming, VBA-M, and you'll find your VBA.ini, which is all your settings. Once you delete that, that, that will reset all of your current settings if you're having problems like I did before. Next, turn on all of your input devices. I have four Xbox controllers, and that will be one for everything. You have to turn on all four, and then open all of your Game Boy emulators so that they actually read your inputs. Because unlike Dolphin, there's no refresh. The refresh is only on open. Once you have done that, we are about to set up all of our inputs and configs. So for player one, you just go to input, set, and this is where you type in all of your controls. Um, as you can see right here, it says Joy 3, despite this being player 1. 
that's just because very similar to desktop monitors when you click identify when you're trying to do like a dual monitor setup your monitor may flash a number like two or one even if or maybe even three even if it's not your main monitor um that's just because it's just trying to be helpful and always identify the monitor as the same thing and with controllers it's the same way so even though my xbox controller that i'm using or if you're using a playstation one even though it may say player one on it windows or mac or your computer just reads it as um controller one controller two controller three controller four which is completely unrelated to whatever your controller says it is so we're just gonna quickly set this up and i'll be right back Next, we're opening Dolphin. At this point in time, I'm going to assume that you know how to either open Four Swords as a ROM or get to its directory, either way. Um, but once you've opened this, your connection will start pretty soon here. We want to wait just another minute though, because we want to make sure that all of our controllers are set to GBA. However, at this point in time, you can you can connect all four controllers at any point, but just f for just the, like the visual, I'm going to this setting. But you could do it from the title screen, opening cutscene, pre-render cutscenes, whatever. But again, just doing this so that you have a visual of exactly what's going on. Next, go to config, GameCube. And make sure all of your ports say GBA for however many players you want. So I'm doing four to show that four is doable. Make them all GBA. The only reason I had player one as standard is so I could make it to this menu first. Next, go to options, link, joybus options. And then right here, you're going to enable, well, check off, enable joybus connection. At this point in time, if it's already checked off, that's completely okay. Because, I mean, if from previous attempts you've done troubleshooting and this was already on, that's okay. Because what actually establishes the connection is if that checkbox is checked and then you click OK, then that, yeah, that's what does it. Dolphin will freeze and your Game Boy emulator will freeze. You won't notice that it's frozen because nothing's displaying, but um, it is frozen just as much as Dolphin is. The only, so to fix this, luckily we set our gba.bin, or whatever yours is named, set up, and you go to File, Game Boy Advance, this part will be very laggy, and then it will play just as normal, and then once you got that little Nintendo icon right there, that means it worked, and Dolphin it will still be a bit laggy until right around now or so. And FPS will increase in-game, just right now while you're setting up everything, this will happen. But we will set up our Joybus options for everything. Okay, I just hooked up the fourth emulator. Um, pretty soon here. Yep, okay, all four are now connected. They all say look at the TV. As you can see, the world map isn't laggy in game, isn't laggy at all. So, this shows that all four players are in, because I believe if it was just one player, it would only say that one player is talking. But also, you can see that all four players have their own force gem count, all their own item slots, all four of their heads show. At this point in time, I'm just expanding them so the emulator is going to freeze a little bit while I'm adjusting window sizes. I'm not going to show like any setup area for three and four, so I'm not going to cover them up. But as you can see, I'm able to do things, everyone has their own tangibility players on the surface as well as in the caves pick up items all work so i hope this helped someone out there try to get four swords working unlike me where i had to struggle for about two and a half weeks or so just to try to figure out a solution uh so yeah Thank you so much for watching my tutorial on this, and I hope that you can have a lot of fun now that multiplayer works again, despite Dolphin 5 not uh, responding appropriately.